Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in for another weekly reading. This week I'm using the Robin Wood Tarot. This is one of my favorite tarot decks of all time. It is just amazing. I just love, love, love this deck. So anyway, the card on the left is the beginning of the week, card in the middle is the middle of the week, and the card on the right is the weekend. So let's see what we get for the beginning of the week. Oh, wow. What a beautiful, beautiful start to the week with the sun. Major Arcana number 19. The sun is all about freedom. You know, it's feeling like you are just so vibrant and so vital and just bursting with energy, as you can see in this picture. Um, the sun is just you know, bursting, just throwing its rays in all directions. This little child is on this white horse <clears throat> with this sort of, this red flowing cape behind him or her, looking very victorious. You know, it's kind of emitting that victorious energy. And the sunflowers in the background, it's just, it's just all about feeling reborn, you know, feeling reborn and feeling like you have a new purpose and just feeling so, so vital and happy and joyous and energetic and free. It's almost like this child has just thrown off that, that red whatever was on him or her and is just like riding away nude into the sunshine, you know. It's just feeling completely you know, joyful about yourself and uninhibited and just just really just raring to go and live your life. Again, this is number 19, so it's at the end of the um, the fool's journey, which means you've gone through a lot. You've, you've gone through a lot of kind of, um, you know, tests and trials, and you've passed them with flying colors in this card because you have learned your lessons, you've matured, you've grown as a person, and you've discovered who you are and you love who you are and you're just ready to just totally totally embrace that so you're starting out this week with vibrant beautiful energy this week could not start off any better okay so let's see what we get for the middle of the week and we get the sorry I'm having trouble seeing this one this is the nine of swords let me just double check this no, this is the Nine of Pentacles. Pardon me. The Nine of Pentacles, another beautiful, wonderful card. The Nine of Pentacles is all about feeling like you have really made it. Like you have made it materially. You know, you're you're wanting for nothing. Uh, you have all your material needs. You may even be living in the lap of luxury or feeling like you're living in the lap of luxury. The woman in this card is holding a, um, a hawk. She has a hawk on her hand and in medieval times hawking was a sport that was considered only for nobility or royalty. So this is somebody who is feeling very very privileged. Somebody who is um, you know, maybe feeling very elite, you know, somebody who's feeling like they've really succeeded. They've really succeeded in life and particularly in uh, the career area or uh, financial arena um, because pentacles are an earthly suit and they're all about, you know, money and home and that it doesn't have to just mean money. It could just mean you're feeling very, very, you know, secure and stable. Um, you're very, very happy with your status in life. Um, you feel like you've accomplished a lot and you're really, really feeling like you are enjoying the fruits of your labors, you know? Like you've worked hard for what you have and right now it's all about enjoying what you have and you feel like you can do that. So boy, does that ever really, really <laughs> go along with that sun card there. This is a, uh, this is looking like a very nice week. Let's see what we get for the weekend here. Oh my, oh my. Okay, so we got the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is very often thought of as the marriage card, because as you can see here, there are these two people on the card and they're, um, they're joining, they've joined hands and they're clinking their, their cups together and it's like they're making a vow, right? They're making a vow to each other. So this could be um, you're in a relationship or you could be 
embarking on a, on a new relationship by the weekend, you could be starting a new relationship, or you're just real. if you are already partnered up, if you are in a relationship, you're feeling just completely, completely content and completely happy and uh, united and just really, really enjoying uh, that love that you have. And this card doesn't have to be about um, a romantic relationship. This card can be about loving yourself as well, you know, um, like embracing yourself and making a vow to yourself and really appreciating and loving who you are. And um, the figure, this, that, um, that figure that is uh, hovering over them is called a caduceus. And it is like it's got the angel's wings and it's got the lion's face and it's kind of like blessing them you know it's kind of like it's kind of like a symbol of the universe's approval of this of this union you know what i mean so it's like you feel like the universe is supporting you as well right and the cups are a suit all about emotions they're all about our our feelings um what matters to us what moves us our spirit um creativity um yeah, so this is just a really, really beautiful, beautiful card. Um, this is a beautiful week. This is a really beautiful week, and it couldn't come fast enough after the after the reading we got last week, right? I mean, which was pretty gloomy. Um, so, you know, it looks like this week is going to be a completely different kettle of fish here. Um, we're starting off the beginning of the week just feeling like, like we're raring to go, like we have no boundaries, no limits, nothing stopping us, complete and total confidence and happiness and energy and vitality and vibrance. We're starting off the week with a huge bang, just feeling like we're raring to go. And then in the middle of the week, whatever we started off at the beginning of the week has definitely paid off. Maybe all that energy that we started off the week with um, you know, carried into the middle of the week where we worked hard and now we're just kind of relaxing and enjoying the fruits of our labor. We're taking a bit of a breather. We're stepping back to see what we've accomplished, what we started out, and we are enjoying it. We're allowing ourselves that time to um, relax and just enjoy the work that we have done. And then by the weekend, we're either enjoying that with a partner or we could be meeting somebody new, we could be embarking on, new, on a new relationship, or we could just be feeling like we're totally in love with ourselves, you know, just totally embracing everything about ourselves and celebrating ourselves and, you know, just feeling like we have accepted everything about ourselves and, you know, we're just feeling good about ourselves, feeling very positive about ourselves. So guys, this is just um, an absolutely amazing reading. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Um, yeah, enjoy it, enjoy it. Um, if you like this video, please click the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And if you would like a reading from me, I will put my details in the description box below. My new website is almost up and running. I will let you know when it is, because there's going to be a lot of cool stuff to check out. So I will um, let you know the moment that's ready. And uh, yeah, woohoo! Just enjoy this week, guys. Okay, thanks a lot for tuning in. Much love to you, and I'll see you on Friday for You Pick the Card. Okay, bye, guys.